Hello, welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. In this video, we will discuss the lead setup and connections for the Megger Byte 3 battery impedance test equipment. Let's get started. The Megger Byte 3 battery impedance test equipment allows for measurements of a battery's internal impedance, terminal voltage, and the resistance of the inner cell straps along the battery stream. Here we can see the Byte 3 transceiver, amp clamp, and test leads. To take measurements using the Byte 3, it is only necessary to utilize the transceiver unit and the test lead set featuring the two pistol grip probes. The amp clamp current transmitter is an optional device for the escape current and impedance modes of operation. The escape current mode is used for measuring a battery string where parallel paths exist. The impedance mode, however, is used for noisy battery systems to filter out any noise to achieve an accurate test measurement. The connections for the amp clamp and test leads are located on the right-hand side of the transceiver. If you are using the optional amp clamp, you will connect it to the J2 connector labeled CT. The larger J1 connector is where you will insert the plug for the Byte 3 test lead set. If you were going to use the optional amp clamp, it would be applied to the battery string by placing it around one of the inner cell strap connections of the string. In this case, it will be applied to the string between cells 3 and 4. This is only necessary for the escape current and impedance modes of operation. The red test probe will be applied to the positive battery post and the other black pistol grip probe will be applied to the negative post of the same battery to measure both cell impedance and cell voltage. Pull the trigger when you are ready to save your test values. To test the strap resistance between two battery cells, move the positive test probe to the positive terminal of the following battery in the string. In this case, the negative probe remains on cell number 2 and the positive probe has been moved to cell number 3 to measure the strap between cells 2 and 3. This concludes our discussion of the lead setup and connections for the Megabyte 3 battery impedance test equipment. Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how-to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.